Hey guys, so I am coming to you today on my iPhone camera. I don't feel like bringing on my camera and doing the whole stand and everything. I don't have any makeup on today. Just my brows. I did my brows because I have to make sure I do my brows. I don't look too crazy. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the Creme Ox Seeds Day Fruit. It's an underrated product from Belgique. It's basically created as a pseudo peel. That's where I would categorize it because when you find it hard where to place this product, you're only going to use it for a month. Then you're waiting like I think three months or so before you shift to bring this back basically. So this is a pearly white cream, unlike the Dermacrofion, which is like a yeastish tan, like, like a beige color. This is a pearly white um, cream. Um, the mode of application, how I use it, I use it after my serum of choice. Um, currently my two serums I have in my collection are the PCA Skin and also the Iso Placenta Serum, which I will do a review on that once I get through using the product a bit more and knowing where I want to keep it in my routine exactly. And like, don't mind these three friends, it happens, but I would say that this is healing so much better than usual because what happens when I get these type of pimples is like I'm left with these type of scars, which I don't know if you guys can see it are like fading. Um, I switched from the P50 Pigment 400 to the P50V 1970. That's I think that's a major change I made recently, but I'm using this with the p50 i'm using this with a serum and applying it i think two hours before i sleep so it can really absorb in my skin um, i don't want to lose the product so there's no point this is the one ounce this is a 1.7 but i think okay because back then when i purchased it i wish i could find a picture of it um well, i do have a picture of it but i wish i can just put it here it's like this really bulky um round bot um jar but this is so much slicker i can see myself traveling with this easily no problem um i would say with this i don't know i haven't felt the need to pick up retinol um as of recently honestly i've been trying to find a way to stay away from retinol within the last couple months because i don't know like i'm not saying i'm having kids today or tomorrow but there's always been like a fear like okay like that time could come and I don't see my hair. That time could come. And if I depend too much on a lot of these actives and I have to stop using it, like what do I do? So um yeah. So this is great. I think it's very it's safe, pregnancy safe. I'm not a doctor, but I've read the inky list. It's, there's no there's nothing in there I would not recommend, but always show everything to your um OBGYN doctor before you use it. Um because the main thing about this, it gives me like this very luminescence over time, like glow. And you know, like there comes a time, sometimes your skin just needs to pick me up. This is those products. I still love my mask, um, Pigment 400, especially for like special events, but I can't use that product every single day because of the cost. So this is a good thing to do in between those sessions where I would ever pick up my Pigment 400 mask. So that's pretty much it guys, it's a quick video. I will eventually do another um, round of video on Billie Jean with, I think, the three products I've added in my routine, which would be this and two more other products. Um, I would do, like, kind of a rollout on those. And, um, yeah, so this is my skin right now. I don't have any makeup. And that's it, guys. Bye.